Morning, uh, it's John from Peach here. I've got Toby and Tom with me. We just had a big shipment of Fender Custom Shop guitars come in. These are a selection of guitars that were ordered at the NAMM show in January, and it's also a few bits and pieces that are our custom orders. Uh, we haven't looked at any yet, so bear with us. We're gonna open them all up and kind of uh, work through it as we go and, uh, and check them out. What we got here, this is a, a 61 Strat Journeyman Relic of a Rosewood fingerboard. Doesn't say what the uh, the colour is on the uh, on the outside of the box. Obviously, it does on a, um, on a separate label. F uh, Faded Fiesta Red, I think this is. Right, I'm going to slash them, and Toby, you're going to open them. That's it. Sweet, what we've got here. Okay, pop, pop it on our Mesa Boogie table there. Okay. Right, what we got? Nice, nice, classy, vintage. Look, yeah, journeyman relic, so it's nice and lightly, lightly aged. Handwound pickups, I think this one's got. Let's have a look, see what's in the case. Got the strap, pluckers. Um, there's the floor traveler there as well. All the specs on. Oh, these will all be on the website fairly soon anyway, so we can we can get them on there and learn a bit more about them on there. We should be getting some videos together on as, uh, of them as well. I know I did see on the dispatch note that we have got something pretty sweet amongst this lot which was a uh, I think it's aged sage green metallic over champagne sparkle so that one's going to be pretty spectacular when we get to it but we're not going through any particular order just going through it as they come this one is a uh, 64 strat another journeyman finish rump nice Shouldn't have been in there like that, but there you go. That's the, the, the magic of, uh, of film there for you. Very nice, 64. I like those 64s. 64, transition logo, clay dots, I can see that's got on there. Proper, proper nice there. See what else is in there as well. I think these are, um, let's see if I can see what the pickups are. Oh yeah, here we go, hand wound 64 strats. So I reckon that'll have a nice, nice kind of snappy yet meaty kind of tone to it. There we go. There you go. Oh no, 64 Strat again. I think it's super faded Fiesta Red. I'm excited to see this one. I do like Fiesta Red Strats and got a little bit of a soft spot for those transition logo 64 style Strats like that. So I think it's the same as the last one, just with a different color. Yeah, lovely, yeah. It's yeah. almost almost uh, shell pink, isn't it, that one? Nice. Looks good with the um, the, like the parchment guard, but with the aged knobs and pickup covers on there. So that's the same spec as the last one. Got a nice dirty neck on it as well, which feels really nice and smooth. Hand wound 64 strap pickups. Yeah, super faded. Just a red. Very nice. Right, next. It's nice all the um, custom shops coming with uh, these little books and stuff now these nice leather binders they come with fender custom shop also has the certificate in there that's signed uh, and it gives you a full idea of the specs on there you can see this has got josephina hand rounds in there very good we've got jack in tomorrow so i think we'll do a nice little fender custom shop special video with all the slot i think this is a, another one the same as well just in a different color aged olympic white Lovely. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, can't beat a white strap with a rose fingerboard. Again, it's got that nice worn down finish on the back of the neck. Uh, hand wound uh, Josephina pickups in there as well. There you go, Tom. Right. I know this shipment is all is all strats. I think it's a mixture of of um, a few different aged ones of varying degrees, journeymans and heavy relics and stuff. I think there's maybe one or two NOS ones amongst this lot. Ooh, what have we got here? Ooh, 64 Special Strat. Ah, here we go. This is that aged sage green metallic over champagne sparkle. It's going to be good. This one's going to be spectacular. 
I can just tell Toby. Oh yes. You ready? Oh my gosh, look at that. Pretty rad finish, isn't it? Wow. A little bit of flame on the uh, back of the neck there as well. That's pretty wild. It's a slightly different case, like, like plush, a bit more plush lined. Uh, hand wound 64 strap pickups in this one as well. 9.5 radius, etc., etc. Oh, it's got a wider nut on this one. Relic fingerboard, cool, all signed off, lovely. Pretty cool. See so if you can get some of that bit more of that finish cracking in there as well. Yeah, nice. Nice weight as well, that is. Oh, there we go. Right, we're moving on to some heavier relics now. 59 strap. Heavy relic rosewood. Does it want to see? Oh, Olympic white again. Another one. I think Tom's going to want this one. I think he had a quite a, a strong yearning for the last heavy aged white strap that we had him. It's a heavy aged run, a white one, Tom. Let's have a look. Ah. Nice. Oh, that's cool, eh? The relic haters will love that. <laughs> I mean, really, why would you buy, why would you buy a new guitar that's all beaten up? <laughs> I wonder how many times we'll hear that. That is cool. That's why. Yes. That's got a huge uh, no caster profile. This is one of our, yeah, this is one of our oh. custom orders. Yeah, it's got huge, huge great neck on it. Uh, and hand wound and Chapablanos in there too. Yeah, that's cool, eh? That's a beast. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, quite a My sort of guitar, yeah. It's white, it's got a big neck. <laughs> right, 59 Strat Journeyman Relic Rosewood, Olympic White. So it's going to be similar spec, I think, to that last one with the anchos, but just in a more newer looking type of finish, I guess. What's been your favourite so far, Toby? It's got to have been that last one. The white one? Have been, yeah. It's too tempting. <laughs> yeah, so it's same specs, just in a, yeah, a journeyman relic finish. Oh, that's, that's lovely. Same, same specs, Tom. Nice. But this one's not missing a screw. Same fat neck. Same fat neck. That's a beast. That's going to have some beefcake tones to it, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. What we got here? Oh, this is a Tomatillo strap, which is one of the uh, the NAM limp edition models that they did in the Journeyman uh, relic finish. It's Tomatillo green, which I think, if I remember rightly, it basically just just looks white, really faded, yeah. faded like whitey creamy kind of colour. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, look at that colour. Oh yeah. Super, super duper thin finish. See that? Feel like the gra the grains right coming through there. You can almost almost feel the the grain. Super thin, super super thin finish on that. Oh yeah, that's really sweet. And nice big neck on that one. Yeah, that's a great looking guitar. Hand wound Tomatillo uh, strap pickups. We'll get a uh, demo. Done of um, of, all, of all this lot anyway, but interested to see how that one sounds. I think that's going to be a, a fat sounding beast. Yes. Do you reckon anyone's still watching? They got to be. They got to be. <laughs> they got to be glued, glued They'll to this. Be uh, insane. Tonight. Insano, <laughs> Captain Insano. Here comes Rob. Do do a dance, Rob. Do a, do a dance while I'm uh, unboxing this. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> yep. Oh, nice. Yeah. 50, what was it? 59, was it? Is that what that said? 59 strap. Oh, 57 strap. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah, another one. This is one of our custom orders. It's got a nice satin finish on the back of the neck. Nice, oh, nice touch. Satin, but it's still got gloss on the back of the headstock. So it feels friction-free. See what the uh, pickups are in there. That looks nice. 
sometimes you know it's cool having all these really beaten up crazy looking super heavily aged things but you know it's still nice to have a nice shiny clean strap that's got handwell and josephina 50 strap pickups in there yeah that's nice 10 inch radius 60s oval c neck profile quarter sawn maple neck nice what are we gonna have next i wonder still waiting for that dangerous one that i fall a little bit too much in love with. i know well, you've <laughs> got to pay your last one off yeah uh, no, yeah <laughs> right 59 strap journeyman relic rosewood vintage white here we go this is one of my favorite colors on a strap is that more kind of creamy yellowy kind of color i think this one's a tortoiseshell guard as well yep take another wonky journey but look at that yeah it's got that huge neck huge neck slightly off white color vintage white satin feel on the back as well yeah huge huge frets just how i like it and well then chose six strings wood metal <laughs> bit of paint oh you can do that bit all right i'll do that bit <laughs> right 61 strat journeyman relic oh olympic white can you tell who does uh, does the ordering on these <laughs> another one taking a wonky journey <laughs> oh that's lovely though 61 oh it's really really light super duper light see i think they're standard kind of 60s pickups in this one let's have a look at book oh yeah handway on 60s pickups quarter saw neck 10 inch radius yeah nice 6105 frets it's a white strap k to d who did that <laughs> 62 strap relic oh i think this is an older uh one of our older like tone machine style ones that we used to do with the John Cruise pickups in. Nice. Good sunburst on that. Nice dark fingerboard. This one's got, um, I think we went with a slightly, yeah, this one's got a vintage radius fingerboard, but with big frets. You know, that's the key. When you've got those, uh, the vintage radius seven and a quarter fretboards, you get the big frets on there as well they feel amazing yeah that's nice yeah this yeah i think it's got the john cruise limited pickups in it yeah john cruise about 50s pickups they sound great yeah definitely get a video done with him as well so we're getting there now how many we've got left one two three four five six six to go super i think it's super faded sonic blue so it's probably going to be another one that looks white yeah <laughs> yeah yes oh that's a killer color super faded sonic blue that was like the color of wolfie's skin after the uh, last work do <laughs> And that was the colour of his eyes. Yeah, lovely. Sweet. That was, yeah, same spec as those other 64s that we'd had. So that was, I think they're, yeah, hand wound. Josephina, 64 strap pickups. Yeah, quarter saw maple necks. All the, you know, a lot of these specs are kind of shared between them because they're just, you can't go wrong with those those kind of uh, you know particular profiles, radices, and frets and stuff. Just a matter of, matter of taste, I guess. Fifty nine strap journeyman relic rosewood three tone. Lovely. Cool. Yay! Oh, there we go. Oh, that is lovely. That's the one. That's the best one, isn't it? Eh? So yes. far, great sunburst. Oh, that is that is a beaut. What is the, uh, I think that's got the, uh, yeah, Ancho Pablanos in there. 6100s, huge, huge, huge frets. It's got that big old super hench neck. Nice. Do some damage with that one. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it's just that like, real nice faded sunburst yes, with that yeah. tortoise shell. It's got a real nice uh, pre Silver Sky John Mayer sunburst strap day. Let's look to it. Are we going to get any that, that's going to beat that one? I don't think so now, it's going to be difficult. Oh, it's another rosewood and another sunburst. 
the 61 this time. Nice. Just looks just looks proper properly old, doesn't it? Great neck on that. Nice, oh, lovely. There's a delivery man coming to ruin our video. Yeah. I think he is. We can open the door. We can have a brief interlude, can't we? Okay, Inter interlude over. 59 Strat Heavy Relic Rosewood Fingerboard. Surf Green. Rob's going to want this. He loves Surf Green, that's why. Look at that as well. Wow. Nice. Yeah. That's monstrous. Yep. Just nothing can be said. Mm. You could rock that one, I think, Tom, as well. Definitely. Big neck. Sexy guitar, that is. See? It's got. It's actually got. It's actually got 13 notes in it. <laughs> there you go. You can do that it's bit. Right. Only no four, so it's fine. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, wasted on you. Right, whittling it down now to two more. That was magic there. It's another blooming surf green, isn't it? So it's going to be the same as um, as that one, I'm thinking, but just in a journeyman finish. Those who want it looking a little bit less beaten up. Same thing, yeah. It's just slightly, slightly different colour in it. Not quite so aged, but nice dark fingerboard on that one too. Can't really, I mean, don't get the, the sense of perspective, but how big that neck is. That's a good, it's gonna have all the uh, Stevie tones in there, I should imagine. The tone will be, it's will be nice right anyway. It, it's neck, massive, so it's, it's massive. It's like one of those, uh, the, I think they're a D, D neck. Mm. So now we're down to the last one. We should have looked at them all beforehand, shouldn't we? Because this one's probably going to be really boring and it bland. Is, yeah, it is going to be. I've got a feeling. And everyone's going to have sat through this video <laughs> and waited for the big daddy. Okay, heavy relic, vintage white. Mind you. Doesn't sound too bad. Yeah, it's going to be nice. Right. The knife can go That's away stuff. for now. in the video mate. <laughs> that looks like that Jason oh. Smith one, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Yeah, that's like that um Jason Smith master built one that we had. Look how thin that finishes. Yes, yeah, that's, that's a beast. So we kind of did save one of the best ones, I guess, still right till the end. I'd say. What do you think, T Bone? What's your favourite, Tom? Possibly this one. Or maybe that Champagne Sparkle one. Mm. That is cool, yeah. Yeah, nice. They're doing a really good job of these tortoiseshell plates as well at the moment, because you can't buy anything really on the market from any of the accessory guys that, that look anywhere near as cool as that. So anyway, if we've managed to keep you to the end, thanks for watching, and they'll all be up on the website in the next few days, and we'll get some videos ready for them as well. So thanks for watching, cheers.